previously on Lost LeBlanc. Okay guys, so <laughs> basically, yeah, we went hiking. We thought we were gonna do two days of hiking, but then we're like, let's just do one day of hiking. That brings us to the night basically after the hike. And we don't know where we're going, but we're going through a place called Lysbotten. It's like this insane windy road, and then all of a sudden, where, oh my gosh, does anyone know who that is? Kathy, Kathy, stay in the car. Oh no. Uh oh. How creepy is this? This is just a road to a small little town. We were feeling a bit hopeless as to where we would stay tonight. We weren't sure what was going on, but we've managed to find somewhere and this is where we're staying tonight. Look at this place here. It is just like a dream. I'm just kind of lit up right now by Norway. I'm loving it. It's expensive though. It's 1,100 for the night. So that's about 125 US dollars. Okay, this is our room guys. I it's perfect. I love it so much. Home sweet home. Super, super quaint. Like, this is a 200 year old barn that was converted into this bed and breakfast. But the best thing about it is this. Looking down into the mountains, the sunrise is right over there. Will we see the sunrise? Definitely not. I'm gonna head to bed. We gotta get a shower, and the showers are actually in a separate barn. So we're gonna head there now. It's just like a one minute walk away. But uh, I will see you in the morning. Buenas noches. Good night. What a necessary sleep that was. I feel so much better, but I do feel my legs starting to tighten up. <coughs> was a very nice day. So right next to uh, Sleeping Beauty's little sewing needle is a, uh, well. I love this place. I think it's my favorite hotel so far. It's very unique. It's local, you feel at home. So this is buffet breakfast. We got Johnny Cash playing. You can choose your bread. They've got the Norwegian sweet cheese. I'm sure you took a bunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> a nice mug of coffee. Looks like I have nothing to worry about. No clouds are rolling in anytime too soon because obviously I'm not leaving here without getting a bit of drone footage. Kathy said it, but this might just be one of my favorite places I have ever stayed. The reason I love this place so much is because we came in with no expectations. We literally were just looking for a room and it turned into an activity in itself. It was just staying in one of the most lush, beautiful, exaggerated landscapes I've ever seen. If you guys want to find this experience for yourself, I'll leave the name of the bed and breakfast down below, but it's a must. It's crazy how much the weather has fluctuated. Mm. Yesterday was cold, jackets. Today I'm like in a t-shirt and I'm sweating. Very tough to predict, but I love it. It's so beautiful. We're getting all seasons in a couple of days. <gasps> Hi! Hello! We have about a four and a half hour drive to get ourselves to a place by the name of Langfoss. Might actually be a little longer. I'm going to a waterfall. Oh my gosh, look at that wall. What is it for? Any theories? Game of Thrones? All the sheeps are hiding there. Yeah, probably. All right guys, so we've entered into a new landscape. Now we're looking like Yosemite here. And check it out, that's a huge water slide right there if I ever saw one. It's like a gradual decline with water flowing down. This is how pros get their drone shots. They take off from the roof of their vehicle and then they sit comfortably inside where it's warm. You've got creeks, trees, mountains. Yeah, it just looks a lot like British Columbia. It's really beautiful. All right guys, so we're doing a quick little stop here. It's only 6.30, but if we go any further, we risk not having food tonight because that's just the way it is road tripping here in Norway. You never quite know when you're on the outskirts where you'll come across your next restaurant and things close pretty early. Have you guys ever seen that video of Shaq drinking out of a normal size water bottle and it just looks like a little toy? Look at these glasses. <laughs> <laughs> they are so slender. It's like a shot glass. Here we go. Three, two, one. Christian. 
Thank oh you. my gosh, thank you. <laughs> All right, Team Gilosters, we are back on the road and we just booked something last minute. Let's go check it out. I feel like we're where the Vikings are living. Like the Vikings have been hiding and they're back here. Let me see. I gotta show you. But guys, this is why I had to stop. I mean, look at this place. Everywhere we go, it's just different landscapes. Each of them incredible in their own way. I'm loving Norway. Katy and I both think it's the most beautiful place we've traveled yet. Beautiful in its own way. You obviously can't compare every place to this. You know, Philippines, extremely beautiful, but nowhere comparable to this. So it's like, on the spectrum of extreme altitudes, cold weather, I think Norway is probably the most beautiful place I've seen, and we're just getting started. This was definitely a Viking tavern at some point. Why a Viking tavern? Because, like, look at it. You just can tell. Looks like all sweet, another road shot. But Norway, why are you so beautiful? And this is our home for tonight. It's very simple, no running water. I think it has heating, it must have heating. Just over there, that is our noisy neighbor, the waterfall. Talk, talk, anyone home? Come in, How this is place it? is so cool. Is it? Yeah, it is. How much was it? It was 87 USD. With the cleaning fee? Maybe? With the cleaning fee. It was 77 without the cleaning fee. Yeah. With the cleaning fee this is so cool. The only thing that worries me is that, that this heating is not working. It is a little cold in here, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, bed one, bed two, no, and uh, all for a very affordable price. So cool. There's the toilet, guys. When duty calls, there you go. This is the definition of Norway. One waterfall there, and right behind our toilet is another waterfall. Oh. Oh. It smells. Okay, I'm not going to the bathroom. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Where am I going to pee? <laughs> I really need to pee. I'm going to pee in the bush. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Welcome to another beautiful day here in Norway. Today's a bit of a rainy start. This beautiful, quaint little red cabin on the top of a hill. While it may look pretty, it has a few serious drawbacks. <laughs> no running water, which we knew. Uh, the heating wasn't really working, which we didn't know. The fire had no lighter to start. So we could start a fire, but it's okay. We went to sleep almost immediately. But the landlord was a total weirdo. You never know with Airbnb. Sometimes you find some gems. Sometimes you stay in a few duds. Well, this was a dud. We're starting off our morning here by driving by one of the famous waterfalls by the name of Langfoss. So let's get in the car. We're about to go by the waterfall by the road. The road literally just goes over top of its flow. to the bottom of Langfoss, the powerful, monstrous waterfall that is said to have swallowed the Vikings themselves. I made that up, but Langfoss is apparently, either it was the third or the fifth largest waterfall in the country. So the height of the waterfall is 612 meters exactly, and then it's considered to be one of the most beautiful waterfalls in the world and is one of the few waterfalls in Norway that are not used as a source of hydroelectric power. Nice. Did I nailed say it. You, sailed, you nailed it. <laughs> you can actually hike to the top of the waterfall, but for us today, we want to get to Bergen. We're kind of hiked out after doing Sharag, so we're going to keep moving. We're literally going through a car wash right now. Oh my gosh, look at the front window. So right now we're passing through a city by the name of Oda and a lot of people will stay here when they're going to do a big hike by the name of Trolltunga. We thought we were going to do it, but it's literally 28 kilometers. It's basically double what Sharag was, so it's a huge, huge hike. We decided not to do it. You have to Google it to see why it's incredible. But this city of Oda is a postcard. This place is absolutely epic. Okay. 
guys, we're driving through Bergen right now and it is insane. Look at all these homes in the hills. They look like little toy homes. I had to make a quick stop here because this is no more than a block away from where we're staying. We're up on top of the hill on top of the UNESCO heritage site that is this lower town here in Bergen. It's so beautiful, such a distinct style. Uh, Google Maps wants me to come up here. These are the craziest roads I've ever driven. What the heck? It's so narrow. I had to stop. The only way to explain what's going on right now is to show you because I've been winding up through what looks like walkways where people would walk, not cars, and I've been having to do like three point turns just to make it around the corner and I'm coming through these alleyways but I'm just following Google Maps and like I don't know if I'm supposed to be coming up this way but on the bright side, look where it's taken us. This is Bergen, one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. This is our beautiful $87 a night place. It's so amazing. I found it. You did find it. <laughs> this is truly a last minute find. I can't believe it was still available. Was so this is where we're staying. The location is the best thing about this place. We are like right above the UNESCO heritage site side of Bergen. The tiny little streets, the colorful rooftops. They get 250 days a year of rain, but it rained a little bit this morning. Today, we're getting a bit of blue sky now. Life is good. Guys, it's a really heavy day here in Norway. Norway has just announced that they're going to war with Sweden. They want their meatballs and their IKEA furniture. Here we are. So Norway is known for its seafood, it being surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. I wanted to try some of its best. So we've come here based on a Yelp review, um, based on a few Yelp reviews, and they had really good reviews for their seafood. Katy got exactly what she wanted. I love mussels. It's one of my favorite dishes. That's why she's with me, am I right? The gun show. I got dried cod. So they actually dry the cod, they leave it out, and then when it's time to eat, they reintroduce it to water and they steam it. And that's how they bring it back to life, I guess. Not literally back to life, it's pretty dead, but it looks good. We haven't really given much direction on food here in this video so far, but I have to say, this one, getting a big thumbs up from me. Funny story. <laughs> you know those moments where you're like, oh, I don't have my camera, I don't have my phone, I'll just keep this moment for myself. I just had one of those moments, because I saw this, Basically, I came running for the sunset when I saw it out the window. It's like 11 o'clock right now. And I'm like, oh, I can't wait to shoot this. I get here, no memory card, no phone. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. I'll just keep this moment for myself. And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm gonna run back to the Airbnb and grab a memory card. So that's why you guys get to see the sunset tonight because I just cannot live life without shooting it apparently. Tomorrow morning we got a super, super early wake up call. We're gonna get about five and a half hours of sleep tonight because we have a ferry we have to catch. I feel amazing to be in Norway right now. It's truly a dream. Love you guys and let's get lost again in the next one.